What's up, people? So, in one of my previous videos, I did a review on this 82 inch Samsung TV, and I got a lot of questions on the stand that I'm actually using for this TV. So, what we'll do is we'll do a quick video. I go over some of the measurements, what I like and dislikes about this stand. It's pretty affordable, so it might be something you guys are interested in if you end up getting a big TV like this. Alright, guys, so quick update on the TV. Um, definitely love it. No complaints, no issues with it so far. Everything seems to be working great. Been playing uh, the new Modern Warfare on it. Looks great. And uh, been watching movies and everything. So got no complaints with this TV. TV is working as it should. And I love it. All right, so just so you guys know, I did pick up this TV stand from Ikea. And this uh, TV stand for this size is probably... One of the best bangs for your buck um, that I found when I was searching for something for this 82 inch TV. This uh, stand is actually currently $119 as of this video at Ikea right now. And the reviews, out of 57 reviews, I got 4.3 stars out of 5. So overall, it's gotten real good feedback. I'm going to tell you right now, I definitely like the stand. Thought it was really affordable. Looks nice. And obviously, it's got a lot of room for storage for any type of devices that you might have in there I got my receiver there my center channel and then I got my PlayStation in that cubby there this actually has three drawers in it I like the way it looks they got it in black and I want to say I think they also have it in white finish obviously I chose the black finish here super easy to put together Probably took me maybe about 20 minutes. Instructions were easy to read. Give you guys a closer look at the drawers. The lighting, I actually did the lighting myself. Doesn't come with the lighting. But here's what the drawers look like. This is like a glass on the front there. And then that's what the drawer looks like. Got a controller in there. Drawers slide nice. They don't have the the no slam slides, but they do provide little rubber bumpers that you can stick on the inside of there. Here's the middle drawer. Got a bunch of games in there, just miscellaneous stuff. But like I said, it's real nice. Slides good. Now everybody knows with IKEA furniture. It's not something that probably is going to last you a lifetime. And that reflects the price. But if you, ain't, you don't plan on moving anytime soon or anything like that, it's going to do the job for you. It's sturdy enough to hold this TV. No problems at all. That's what the finish looks like. It's just uh, pretty much black. You don't see like a wood grain in it or anything like that. It does come with the anchor brackets that you can anchor it to the wall so it doesn't tip over or anything. What I'll do now is I'll go ahead and give you guys some measurements so you guys can uh, get a better idea of the size of this TV stand. Before I go ahead and measure it myself, I'll just give you guys the measurements off the website here. The length is about 70 inches, depth is about 16, and the height is about 20. We'll go over and uh, I'll measure that for you guys just to verify. All right guys, so we'll go ahead and we'll actually do our own measurements here. We're looking at 71 for the width of this. For the height, you're looking at about 21 inches for the height, and then the depth is about 16 inches. As for these little cubbies here, go ahead and do this middle one. You're looking at about 23 inches for the inside diameter, and then 6 inches from top to bottom inside diameter. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do a drawer. I will do the depth of this too. The depth for this cubby is about 15 inches. Go ahead and do this drawer now. Inside, we're looking at about 20 inches. So 20 inches for the width. From front to back, you're looking at about 14. And the height is eight inches. On the back here, it also has cutouts. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six cutouts in the back. So you can, guys, so you can run your wires through for your devices, so that's nice. And also this is where you would mount your anchor if you wanted to mount it to your wall so it doesn't tip over. The stand itself is real sturdy, so that's why I didn't mount it. I'm not gonna have any issues with it tipping over or anything like that. I don't have any young kids that are gonna be climbing on it, so I'm not really concerned with that at all. But overall, I'm really, really happy with the design of this TV stand. It's perfect for this TV. It's affordable and it definitely looks nice. Lots of storage area and it's got just enough room for all my devices. So I'm pretty happy with it. So hopefully this video helped anybody looking for affordable TV stand for their big screen TV. Now this is an 82 inch. There's where the legs end up being on this stand so there's not a whole lot of room left so I'm not sure how much bigger you could go but as long as your legs are no wider than I think we measured 71 inches I just keep it within 70 obviously but I think you guys would be fine so hopefully this video you found useful if you did please hit that like button if you guys like what I'm doing on my channel here hit that subscription button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I post my next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.